Benjamin with Barch Designs here, and I'm going to show you how to assemble the new Raspberry Pi 4 case that I've made with your Raspberry Pi 4. So when you get your Raspberry Pi 4 case, it's going to come with a piece of insulating plastic and the piece of neoprene already pre-installed in the bottom for you. There's four screws, an Allen wrench, heat sink compound, and four feet that'll go on the bottom optionally. Now, if you've got a two gig version, you're going to need to use this thermal tape additionally on the RAM pillar. But for the one gig and the four gig versions, it'll work directly just with heat sink compound. So let's show you that first. Take your Raspberry Pi one gig or four gig and drop it in the bottom of the case gently. It'll line right up and then grab your heat sink compound. I like to mix this up a little bit. Sometimes it gets separated or there's some air bubbles or something in it, but mix it up a little bit before you pull that off and use it. Now we're going to put a dab of it on each pillar here. And what we want to do is put some in the middle of the pillar and then we'll squish it down and we'll make sure that it's spreading everywhere. So we'll set that aside. And when you line this up, right behind the USBs is where I like to line up those pillars and that helps it line up right away. Wiggle it, it'll go down. And then you'll see there's a little bit of a gap. And as we push this together, that'll spread that heat sink compound. And then we'll take it back apart and we'll see how it spread. If it spread on all of them, which it looks like it did really good, that's exactly what you want. If, there, if it didn't spread far enough, go ahead and put a little more on there. If it spread too much, that's okay. Heat sink compound is non-electrically conductive, so um, it won't matter. It'll only transfer the heat. It won't short anything out if you spill some on the electronics. But after that, you drop in your four screws. Screw it down. And there you have your case. You want to snug it up a little bit at the end. Make sure everything's tight. And there you go. Your new Raspberry Pi 4 case assembled and inside, or your new Raspberry Pi 4 assembled inside the case, ready to go. Um, optionally, if you want to put the four feet on there, you just peel these off, stick them on the bottom, and they'll re-stick if you don't quite get it in the right spot the first time. But stick those on there. There you go. Raspberry Pi 4 case ready to go. Enjoy.